viewers, uh, welcome to CMCC. Uh, this is Miss Kapadza, your, your media anchor. Wow, we had a powerful, power-packed uh, believers uh, prayer convention. And here I'm joined by our guest speakers. Uh, they are going to introduce themselves and tell us how was their experience at CMCC and give us their parting shots. Thank you. I'll hand over to our guest speaker. Hello, viewers. My name is Pastor Greta Stolle from Langabek region. We are here at uh, CMCC uh, region uh, together with uh, Pastor Nkululeko Stolle. We were very blessed to be at CMCC. It was a very powerful peg uh, believer prayer convention. Many teachings that way we, we, be, we have been teaching. And uh, we want to thank God uh, for deliverance. Uh, last night, uh, people were delivered. Uh, people were uh, given breakthroughs. Uh, we want to thank the God of Ezekiel. For he is a faithful God. I leave this time to Pastor. Welcome, viewers. Welcome, viewers. Um, my name is Pastor Nkurulego Stole. Um, it was a great time to be here at uh, CMCC uh, where we saw the end of God of Ezekiel uh, touching the lives of people and changing the lives of people. And we believe that the God of Ezekiel will not uh, leave us alone. Now um, we want to say to the uh, members or to the believers of CMCC, keep in maintaining your deliverance and keep on forgiving as we shared today the message of forgiving one another for the spirit of god to keep on within us we need to forgive one another thank you so much god bless you a powerful thank you so much our guest speakers indeed uh, cmcc will never be the same again now I've been joined by our elders in charge. They were elders in charge for the Sunday service. Uh, they are going to introduce themselves and give us a few, some few words. I'll start with Mama here. Um, greetings, uh, viewers. My name is Elder Gladys Neme Konwenzo. Uh, we had a wonderful, wonderful conference from Thursday up to today, Sunday. Uh, it was so powerful. I was uh, touched by uh, the message that was preached by our mother. Our mother was teaching us about, uh, about working talents. Also, our father also touched on this subject. And uh, our father was, in, was, was encouraging business people. Uh, we have matured from small businesses to, to, uh, to big businesses. Business people, we have now, we have now decided to merge with, uh, with, with fellow biz, uh, business people. And he was encouraging that uh, the business people, they need to have everything in writing so that uh, we will have fewer sessions in, uh, uh, in, in, in faith clinic because uh, he, was, he was mentioning that there are incidences where people have had uh, to, uh, uh, to go for faith clinic because of things that were not written down. So they were encouraging us to continue working talents and that uh, we must not only work church talents but that we also need to work home talents so that we have something uh, 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 tangible uh, even for our children. Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, Mrs. Kapadza. Uh, I'm Elder Raymond Mkonwenzo, uh, and I was the elder in charge today. Oh, what a wonderful uh, Believers Prayer Convention that we had this week. Um, key among the major um, things that we were taught uh, was the service of today, which was very powerful. Um, what a great way, you know, to just end this uh, Believers pray, uh, Prayer Convention. Our t uh, Pastor uh, Nkulule Kosband uh, Stole, he touched, um, uh, his main message was on uh, a vessel of honor, how to be a vessel of honor. What I liked was that he acknowledged that in our Christian faith, things do happen. But when we are hurt and when we are, are, are discouraged, we need to actually pick ourselves together and move forward. Um, 
what he touched most and emphasized was the fact that we need to forgive. And as we forgive, it helps us also in our, uh, our work of faith uh, to strengthen us as well. It was so powerful. Uh, we just want to thank the God of Ezekiel. What also I enjoyed was just the feeling and the great atmosphere of love which was in the auditorium today as we were celebrating the prayer month of June. Oh, our God is a very good God. We enjoyed and we were just basking in, uh, in the glory of God and in love and in the fellowship. It was so great. Thank you so much, Mrs. Kapadza. Thank you so much, our elders, uh, viewers. Indeed, we had a powerful Sunday service. And now I'm joined by one of our believers. Uh, she's going to introduce herself and give us uh, just uh, some nuggets that she picked from today's service. Amen. I'm Ama Shekumete. Dizo. Dizo Fagaza and Gopkulugan Kulunkulu, who saves Yanam Shanje, as Amakola Amacha. Hallelujah. Sifundisiwe, Gule Convention, Oguti, Utiko Uzbonagali Sangentela, as Nafani, and Pilen Zetu. Abange, Gabakwazu Tula, Abange, Gabakwazu Preacher, Abange by attenders as Pung and Jeles Nafani, so see Akuta the Wongo Umtu, Enze, Lendo Ainigas and Utiko. Amen. Uh, thank you so much, Sister Amatle. That was so beautiful. Uh, thank you so much. In the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Mopris Rutambo. I'd like to thank God for the convention that I attended from Thursday till today. It was a life-changing convention. I learned a lot and I'm blessed. I thank God for that. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Sister Praise Mo. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, my name is Mrs. Billiard, and I also attended the prayer convention. It was power packed. It was so powerful. Uh, we had a healing session where we were taught that we have to heal from the things uh, that that hurt us and from the people that we have in our hearts. It was power packed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miss Billiard, and thank you so much, Miss um, Mo. Praise. 